Welcome to Maven so far. Please go to my channel or hit the notification bell, like this video and share it. We lost one of our sisters. Her name was Braylon Stone. She was only 17 years old. I want to share this story about her life and living and what happened to one of our sisters. <laughs> Seventeen years old. Now this Thursday takes place in Sherwood. Police identified the victim was found dead inside of the car, which happened on a Thursday, which was um, last week. It stated that Little Rock, Arkansas. We have received several calls and emails concerning the death of the seventeen-year-old in Sherwood. Many people are asking to refer to the victim as Braylon. We have consulted with the Stone family. They have asked us to use the victim birth name in our reporting. We continue to follow and update information as far as investigation. Now, of course, the family is stating they want to use the birth name. Of course, social media is saying use Braylon name. That's con that's conflict. Sherwood, Arkansas police have identified the victim found by dead inside of the car on Thursday in a walking path on Gap Creek Drive in Braylon, 17 years old in North Little Rock. Now, it is stated that Sherwood, Arkansas, the Sherwood Police Department was called approximately around 2.55 p.m. on June the 25th to the walking path of Gap Creek Drive in re reference to a car on the walking path. Now, once the officers got to it, they discovered that the body was an identified person dead inside of the car. Now, Braylon was already dead inside of the car. The body was taken to Arkansas State Crime Lab identification. The Sherwood police officer is investigating the incident as a homicide. No further details will be released until identification of the body of the next of kin has been notified. If you have any information or about the whereabouts about the car, if you know anything about this, you're asked to call the police. Now, it's another part of the story that was speaking and saying in reference to um, Braylon was found dead and stuff inside the car. Um, it stated that the transgender woman was found dead inside of the car and a parent hit. Now, they say that it was a hit because of a lot of things that's going to speculation. I'm not going to go into all that. But the body of Braylon Stone, a 70 year was found dead inside of the car in Sherwood, Arkansas, June the 25th. Local um, police officer investigated homicide. Now, this is stating that a social media user posted on Instagram a picture of a $100 bill claimed that the payment for the murder of Stone's writing zip. E. Whoa. Okay, this is about to get deep, y'all. I'm about to read some deep stuff here. A social media user posted on Instagram a picture of a $100 bill claiming a payment for the murder of Stone. Writing, zap him for 5 k Money will be well spent. Authorities have not confirmed this person actually related to any way of Stone's murder and the post was only meant for um, trans, trans activists. The post has been deleted. Now, so allegedly, they had a hit that was put up there. They were stating that, um, oof, I was not expecting to read that. They said that a so post for me that he, a hit claiming that the murder of Stone um, was that zap them for five thousand. So basically, they give them five. They showed a hundred dollar bill and five k you would receive if you killed him. Hell, killed her. A candlelight vigil was held on Monday night, on June 29th, which was approximately organized by the Center of Artistic um, Resolution. Braylon was someone who always held space for others and themselves and expressed identity to group, wrote on Facebook, despite the fact that the institution didn't support Braylon 
and important that we uplift her memory and dedicate ourselves to seeking justice for her. She was only 17 years old and her life was taken away too soon. We must put a stop to the violence against black children and women. Okay. Now I also got something reference to um, a news clip that I found. And um, I'm going to share this part with you. Check this out. Donna, that's a great way to describe it. There are things like this just typically does not happen in a neighborhood like this. We before 3 p.m. yesterday afternoon, the teen's body was found in a van along this fairly popular walking trail. We all watch out for each other. Sherwood neighbors around Gap Creek Drive react to a teen found dead in a van along a popular walking trail. All of us are family oriented. You know, the kids go on their bikes all the time. So it was just scary. Jamie Diaz says she and her neighbors saw the crime scene Thursday afternoon. I saw the vehicle, but and then also heard what had happened. She says there may be petty crime in the area, but not to this magnitude. And we've had cars break into, um, vehicle stolen type thing, but nothing like that. It's a very quiet neighborhood. We get very few calls, so it's very surprising to all of us. Sherwood police officers say the teen has been identified as 17-year-old Braylon Stone. They're trying to figure out whether Stone was killed in Sherwood or brought here. They're also looking into a motive. An investigation like this is rare for the city. It's very unusual. I believe it's maybe our second or third homicide this year. All the while, Diaz says she will keep an extra eye out. It was kind of scary. At this time, there is no suspect information available. And if you know anything about this crime, you're asked to contact Sherwood Police. Reporting live in Sherwood tonight, I'm Stephanie Sharp. Back to you. All right, Stephanie. Okay, if anybody seen anything, heard anything, hit crime service at 501-340-8477. That's 501-340-8477. This is in Little Rock, Arkansas. This is a crime stoppers that's there in reference to that. Now, I also want to share with you a little bit more information in reference to um, it says justice for Brayla Stone. Now it says Brayla Stone was a transgender woman who was murdered in Little Rock, Arkansas by a transphobic man. This is not, this is not making major news. Even when her death being killed, boasted about murder on social media saying that she was paid, that he was paid $5,000 for the crime. So... I'm going to put this also, it's called change.org, it says sign a petition. Now, they basically got 187000 so far, and the thing is, says that, um, it's saying that Braylon Stone is a black gender woman who was murdered in Little Rock, Arkansas by a transphobic man. This is not making major news, even when her killer boosts about the murder on social media, saying he was paid $5,000 for the crime. So the killer allegedly been boosting that he was paid $5,000 for killing her. Wow. Oof, this story got so many twists and turns to it. It is, it's just unrealistic to me. It's just unrealistic. So allegedly he was paid $5,000. He posted the picture. And I guess this is him, $5,000 that he was paid for killing her. Now, I don't know this, like I said before, this is speculation, this is I don't know. I'm not going to sit there and say this is actually true. This is allegedly, basically, I'm not sure if they can track the person now that allegedly posted have done it, boosting about that he killed her. I don't know. I'm not going to say this is actually true. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I was, what I'm reading here as, as far as um, this girl's being murdered. You know, and the thing about it, got 187,000 um, people in, in counting, basically at 188, in counting people of, um, signed a petition for Braylon. You know, and the family in my prayers and stuff, you know, this is just horrible on so many levels and stuff. I, I, I definitely, um, don't want to add my two, two cent to it because I know too much information and I'm not going to share with y'all. Only because of I need solid concrete proof. And I'm not sharing nothing unless I get this concrete proof. But I do know this girl is murdered. She's only 17 years old. Share this video where you can. The, the mother, the family, you're in my prayers. The friends, you're in my prayers. 
Let's try to find out who killed her. It's so sad because we got so many surveillance videos. Why is it that no one saw anything as far as the person getting out the truck? They don't know whether she was killed and brought there or she was murdered. Up. They don't know anything. But let's just say this. Somebody put it. Somebody knows something because for that van to be there, somebody had to drive it there. And if if if, 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 if reports are accurate as far as her body being inside of it, that is even better because you can get a chance to see the person who put in the boat, jumping out the car, who put her body there. So that's more information of a screenshot or something. Was it a few people? Was it one person? This is very important. So if anybody out there basically know anything as far as videos, I'm sure they got to have a video, especially in a, in a creek like that, they should definitely have um, like a video footage or something, you know, basically that could basically help out. And this girl murdered 17 years old. Anyway, like I said before, subscribe to my channel, tap this Instagram button, you follow me, I'll follow you back. Hit the notification bell. If I find out any more information, I surely will let you know. If you find out anything, hit Raven over at Yahoo.com. Just in case you find anything, like I said before, the family in my prayers, rest in peace, my sister. At the top, there's the Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. Please hit the notification bell. This way, if I got any more information, I can share with you. Also, share this video every way you can. This way, we can try to get just as far as sister. And please be safe out there because the sad part about it is there are more people out here that are killing us. And like I said before, we know our killers. We just not around to tell who they were because we're now dead. You know, and it's sad because she's only 17 years old. But like I said, rest in peace, my sister. I'll be reading your comments. How do y'all feel about this whole thing? I want to share. Don't forget to sign a petition, which can be down in the comment section. Save, share this video, hit the notification bell. At the top, there's the Instagram button. You follow me, I'll follow you back. Let y'all love you. And thank you for watching. Catch the rave.